Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, if you're looking for other channels, I do have my other channels are Cancer, 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 and Lady Libra Tarot. The links for both are in the description box below the video. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or my Tarot Deck Magical Fantasy Tarot, the links for those are in the description box. You will also find the timestamps in the description box. So let's get into this. This is whatever comes out, guys. And I do have Aries at 102. Let's go. Let's get into it. What's coming out for Aries? A lot of major arcana here, Aries. I feel like I feel like you're being guided in the direction to look at something deeper. So when you're when when the divine is sending your guides, I almost like you're being divinely guided right here to manifest. I don't know if you are mourning or you're. Oh. I feel like that there is a lot of depression and sadness and you need to master your emotions. I almost feel like you're being divinely guided to a new beginning. You may be going through a bout of depression and you need to master your emotions because there's a tower. There was a tower moment. So whatever happened in this relationship, you want to communicate about the deception. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of darkness here. There's a lot of sadness. So you've got a heartbreak and you've got the, the uh, nine of swords. So sleepless nights, heartbroken. You may have seen your partner with a third party and you're really in your, in your feelings right now. You're soul searching about the, you're doing some soul searching about the betrayal. I feel like you're being guided towards a new beginning because whatever happened here, Aries, was very destructive. Now you having to go in and do some soul searching about the betrayal as if there's some kind of part that you feel guilty about or you could have done something to change the outcome here is, is ridiculous. I don't know because this is almost like I feel like you could be a masculine energy here and you almost are like, what could I have done differently to make my partner happy? That is not the case here. It doesn't matter what you do. You could have worked your ass off for this person. This person did this to the relationship, not you. And I almost feel like you're in your mindset about what you did. What could you have done differently? Because you're in, you have a lot of despair right now. There's nothing you could have done differently. Um, there's nothing you could have done differently, Aries. This person would have done this regardless of what you did for them. Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. So if there was a tower moment in a relationship, you see things from a different perspective.
You are discontent about the argument. But I almost feel like Oh, I see what's happening. You're trying to find some peace and balance. You may have been discontent about the argument, but there's a really, the harsh truth is there's a relationship with the queen of wands. You know, I feel like here's the thing. You already look at things from a different, it's almost like, I almost feel like in this sense, Taurus, your attitude is you can have her. You can have her. There's the door, right? Now, the irony here is you're coming in as a masculine energy. This could be from this perspective, from this perspective is regardless, the harsh truth about the relationship with the queen of wands is that you're unhappy. You're unhappy. Now, it looks like you're trying to hold on your family. You're very guarded and defensive, but you're still trying to hold on to a family situation. I don't know if you got caught. You caused the relationship tower. And now you see things from a different perspective, being patient. You're not happy with the Queen of Wands, even though you have a relationship with the Queen of Wands in you. I, 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 this is a third party. Unless you're married or with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. But I feel like that this is somebody who cheated. Because you're still trying to hold on to a family situation. So this could be a third party for you. You're still holding on from, to the family, but I feel like there's an ending and you're going to be trapped in your head about the partnership. So I, I feel like regardless of what happened, you know, yes, you may have cheated on your person. You're not happy with the third party and you're trying to hold on to your family, but I feel like it's going to fall apart. Tell me about Gemini. I feel like you're in the queen of wands mode here, Gemini. I feel like this is you. You're secretly at a crossroads working on the harsh truth. Queen of wands. You're, you're discontent about a family situation and a relationship. And you're kind of guarded and defensive. Something ends you holding, holding on to a king of wands. Trapped in your head. You're trapped in your head about your partner. Now, this is similar to Taurus's, but I feel like you may be a husband here, Gemini. You're not the queen of, of wands. You're the, you're a husband. So secretly at a crossroads working on the harsh truth about a queen of wands, there's a family situation that you're discontent about the relationship and you're very guarded and defensive. Now, I don't know if you are leaving a family, your, your, your marriage is bad. And 
you know, the, the harsh truth, <laughs> it's like the people, they don't know that you're with another person because you're secretly at a crossroads working on the harsh truth. You have a family situation that you're discontent about. You're not happy about a family situation and you're very guarded and defensive and you're, you're wanting to end holding on. You're having sleepless night about a partnership. The partnership is about the queen of wands. You're not happy in a relationship and you want to be with somebody else and you're tired of hiding it. That's what this is about. I see a new beginning in divine timing. I feel like you're going to open up and tell the world, okay, look, I'm, I'm done with this. I don't know if you have a bad marriage and you just want to leave the bad marriage, leave the bad marriage. But it, you know, the way it's, it's going about it is the, it's, you know, you're secretly at a crossroads trying to work with somebody. You know, the fact of the matter is, is, you know, leave what you're not happy with and go on with your life. That's what it seems like. Cancer. Tell me about cancer. Okay, Cancer, what's happening? You have an opportunity to leave something out in the cold and end it in divine timing because of a truth being spoken. You're going to rebuild a tower. You've made a decision about your, whatever this 10 of Pentacles is to you, job, commitment to something or somebody, whatever the case may be, that 10 of, 10 of Pentacles is a long-term commitment, something that you're in it for the long haul, right? So you're leaving something out in the cold with an opportunity to end it in divine timing because of a truth and rebuild this tower. So how I would take that is that if you've been going through something and it has been, it's been dragging on, you finally have the opportunity to release yourself from something and move forward with your life and rebuild your commitment because of a choice, because of a choice and the truth. Okay. So Definitely release yourself from something that no longer serves you so that you can go to where you're meant to be, right? Don't continue to drag on. Justice is here, right? You ha you've had all the faith in the world here. You've stood in that you see that your faith is finally giving, bringing you justice. I feel like your dedication to something is bringing you justice. You finally have passed the test. There's that soul searching that, you know, you've gotten the clarity that you need. You've gotten the downloads. Your guides have been with you through this, right? They guide, they've guided you through the heartbreak. They have guided you through this. Whatever's been holding on to you, you are now cutting this off. Now, I'm seeing it as a king of wands, but it, I, I, it could be anything or anybody. It even could be an attachment. Whatever held on to you has been cut off. Now, maybe the person that is responsible for it being cut off is the king of wands. For me, that would be the truth because my twin is a king of wands. He's an Aries. So I feel like whatever was hanging on has now been cut off by this person. Empress energy. There's your twin. There's my twin. This is like, I find this is coming. This is very personal to me. Whatever, whatever. And I know this is going to ring true to a lot of cancers. If you've been going through something so deep that you can't even explain it to somebody. Um, it's the universe is taking it off your back. That's what this is about. This is wonderful. 
that's a wonderful um, reading cancer. It's time to release what no longer serves. Tell me about this for Leo. What's Leo? What needs to come out for Leo? What needs to come out for Leo? What do we got? Leo's strength card right out the gate. Right out the gate, you're looking for peace and, and harmony. You're in that Empress mode. Strength and harmony. Look at this. Strength, balance, peace. Walking away to have justice, Empress energy. Hmm. You have two people around you, a King of Swords and a Queen of Swords. You know them from your past. I don't know if this is a mother and a father. I don't know if this is a brother and a sister. This could be friends. This could be a couple that you know. This is somebody from the past. They're taking that leap of faith to look at past mistakes. Someone had made a decision to play mind games and manipulate somebody. Maybe they were, maybe they came after you in a situation. Their choice was to win at all cost. This person didn't, did, oh, well, I feel like you're cutting something out, Leo. You're cutting out something so that you can rebuild. Because I see you have the strength and patience to walk away, to have justice. So, you know, maybe you're being guided to walk away. It could be your guides are strongly recommending it. You know, maybe you're getting these downloads that it's time for you to have justice and clear your path to get away from people who, and I'm telling you, Cancers and Leo. I mean, if there's something that you need to distance yourself from, cut the cords, remove the blockages, release yourself from these things people, places, and things that are taking your energy, your, your, uh, whatever they're taking. Distance yourself. These, these people chose, these people chose to try to, they made a decision to whatever it was, take whatever, you know, with the mind games manipulation to win at all cost, you know, whatever they were trying to do to you, it's time for you to cut the cord to cut the cord and rebuild. You're at a crossroads. <clears throat> it's like you're, you're at a crossroads. You're, you're worried or you're discontent about some in a fast moving uh, conversation or a f somebody rushing in to give you a message. Uh, you're going to hear something that's going to make you a little, it's going to make you a little tense. You're going to, you're going to feel like, oh, this is never going to end. It's going to end. You got divine timing under the bottom of the deck. I promise you, I promise you, <laughs> this is the, this is the divining. This is the deciding factor here, right? You, you know, at the end of the day, if there's something that you have to get away from or somebody you have to get away from, you cut the cords and remove yourself. Don't be intimidated. Do not be intimidated. Do not fear. Just figure it out and move forward. Yeah, don't let fear hold you back. Virgo. And one more. Okay, what do we got, Virgo?
Virgo, I feel like you're standing in your power. You're taking control of a situation. You took that leap to like rebuild and have justice over the drama. And they saw you coming too. They saw you coming. Whoever was, whoever was causing the drama, they saw you coming. And they, it's almost like they got the hell out of Dodge, right? I feel like you'd had enough of the arguing and fighting. You're trying to move forward to heal as well. <laughs> You know, your judgment, your judgment about the deception is, you know, they saw you coming. They, they, they knew you were, you're not, you're playing no games. You were walking in to, to slay the dragon. You definitely were Virgo. What now this could be, this could be kids fighting in front of your house. This could be breaking up an argument or you could be an owner of a bar and this, the people are just acting crazy and they see you coming. And they know that, you know, this even could be your own children knowing that, oh shit, daddy's home and he's going to handle it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're obsessed with having peace, okay? Your judgment about the deception is you're obsessed with having peace and balance. So th here's the thing. You're restoring peace and balance in your home, in your family, what your area, your business, whatever the case may be. If somebody's trying you, you're going to stand up and you're going to show them what you're made of. That's the bottom line. They see you coming. And, and this is almost like, run. <laughs> okay. Libra. Tell me about Libra. I feel like there's a celebration. And somebody, your, your person, Libra, is holding back from celebrating. This, it's almost like somebody's trying to balance out their fear. They're ba they're, you know, it's, this person could be having a panic attack. Because there's a celebration and somebody's holding back. I feel like your partner's having cold feet or a panic attack. Secretly panicking. They're holding back from you and from your family or their family. They're trying to find, they're trying to find some peace and balance, but they're secretly panicking. They're panicking. This person's th having a panic attack. Libra, I think your partner, it, either your partner cheated or you cheated. And this person is panicking about getting married or celebrating. There's a celebration that they hold back because they're having a panic attack. They're holding back from you and the family. It has to do with the betrayal of a new passionate beginning and someone needs to recover. Their regret. Your partner cheated on you. Your partner cheated on you. This queen of wands cheated on you, Libra. And now they feel the burden of it. They're not talking about it, but they're cutting everybody off. So if you're getting married to somebody, I feel like the bride cheated. That's what I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like the bride cheated, may have cheated on the bachelorette party or whatever. They're cutting off all communication and not speaking to anybody. They're cutting everybody off. 
Like this person's not telling anybody what's happening. They're cutting off all communication. Okay, Scorpio. Tell me about this, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. You want justice for an argument. You want to be with somebody in a relationship. And you want things to move forward, but you want justice for an argument. It's almost like you want to win the fight. You want to win the argument. You're wanting to win an argument. You want to be with somebody in a relationship moving forward. Scorpio, you're rushing towards your king of wands. Uh, so why do I, it, it's, Okay, Scorpio, you're, you're definitely putting your foot down. You want to win the argument. You want to be in a relationship. You want things to move forward. You want, you want him to close the door on the past so that he can rush towards you. That's what I'm saying. You want this to move forward. This is your wish that you've manifested your happiness. You want this offer. You want this person to offer you a relationship. You're, you're finally, you know, this is like something you've manifested your happiness here. And you want this person to say, okay, I'm done with dating other people. And I want us to be exclusive. That's kind of what you're asking this person right now. You're wanting this offer. You're like, nope, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Like this is, this is where you're at with it. So sad. Tell me about Sag. Okay, Sag, what's happening? You're at somebody's wedding. There's a, there's a partnership. There's a partnership here celebrating the King of Swords. This is a family situation. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is him being, getting married. You're waiting for divine timing, but your wish fulfillment is a tower moment. You see things from a different perspective and you want justice illuminated. Holy cow, what's happening? Sag, you want shit to hit the fan at somebody's wedding? <laughs> you want justice illuminated. You want people to see what's really happening. Like you're waiting, you're waiting in divine timing, wishing for that tower, hoping that shit will hit the fan at the wedding. You look at things from a different perspective and you're wishing, you're, you want justice illuminated. You're working on taking that leap into the drama. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're going to jump in and put your two cents in. Sag, Sag, Sag. That's hilarious. You're waiting for all hell to break loose at the family at the wedding. Okay, Capricorn.
Okay, one more. Okay. Capricorn. So there's a truth about a third party. And you're trying to find some peace and balance and master your emotions about the relationship. I see the world card here. There's an ending. There's an ending. And this is like standing your ground. You're standing your ground as the queen of swords. You're pissed about the juggling. You're finding out that somebody cheated and, and you are like, you're going toe to toe with somebody here. You're at a crossroads about walking away. You, the strength of this tower, like is, is okay. So here's this, this tower, let this tower fall. Let this tower, this is the strength of this tower is going to send you in a new direction. So Capricorn, you got the Ace of Pentacles. You got something that will pro be prosperous for you uh, coming, right? Sometimes, sometimes people are taken out of our lives for a reason, okay? Uh, because it's time for you to move forward in a new direction. And I feel like that finding out the truth about somebody and you having to master your emotions, standing your ground, being strategic, um, about because of, of the juggling Need, at being at a crossroads about walking away. Don't be at a crossroads. Now for the, for me as a reader, the crossroads is, are you going to turn right? Or are you going to turn left? Are you going to go east? Or are you going to go west? Right? But you're going in a new direction. You really are have strength here. This tower will fall and you will have a new beginning. Okay. Um, sometimes it's time to do this. There's time for change. It's been a long time coming. I bet you this isn't the first time this has happened. So finding out that your partner's cheating, uh, this isn't a first time for you. I don't feel like this is your first rodeo. It's time for you to move on though. Sometimes the universe takes the trash out, you know? Tell me about Aquarius, please. Mm. <clears throat> Aquarius, you're moving on from a third party queen of wands. It's been a long time coming. Somebody was obsessed with an illusion. This is the devil's illusion, right? Somebody was doing witchcraft here, but that's going to end. You're going to have a new beginning here. I feel like you haven't talked to your partner, but there's a victory for this queen of cups. I feel like your partner is a queen of cups. This, this magic is finally going to stop. You haven't told this person, but there's a victory in speaking the truth to the queen of cups. I feel like this person, this queen of cups is going to help you get past this nonsense with this third party who has been trying to destroy your relationship for a long time. This queen of cups is your empress. It's time to move forward here. So I feel like talk to your partner, tell your partner the truth about this. And this partner is going to help you get past all of this nonsense with this, this third party that's been doing magic. I feel like your partner's well aware of what's happening. You're the only one that doesn't know she knows. <laughs> or you're in denial that she knows.
Okay. Pisces. You want to speak the truth about a secret? You want to rebuild and move forward? Something you haven't talked about? Trapped in your head about a new passionate beginning with a king of cups? Pisces, have you been... Have you been hooking up with somebody and you're finally going to tell somebody about it? I feel like this person's your perfect match, to be honest with you. Secretly, you're going to tell the truth about so you can rebuild and move forward. I don't know if you've been single. You're single and abundant. So you may be telling your family. Or this person could have offered you, wanted to get married. They, in other words, you've been keeping a secret that you've been with somebody. And now this person wants to get engaged and they have offered you. You know, to, to marriage, possibly. They, this could have been a proposal. But the problem is, is that your family doesn't know about this person. You've been keeping this under wraps, and now it's time to come clean. Not only are you the true match here, Cancer, I'm, I'm Cancer, Pisces, Pisces, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water signs, right? Perfect match there, but you're the perfect match here. The Emperor and the Pre Empress. So, it's time to spill the beans, Pisces. You've been keeping something under wraps. So guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed.